Our region's history now visible at the Folsom Lake Reservoir. Extremely low water levels have once again exposed a historic town that was flooded when the Folsom Dam went into place. I'm here at Dinosaur Valley State Park in Texas and just a remarkable sight here. These are dinosaur prints that scientists say are more than 100 million years old, usually covered with water and filled with sediment, but you can clearly see them now. And they go on for more than 300 yards down this riverbed. The waters of our Earth hide more than what meets the eye. Aquatic monsters lurking below the surface, or millennia-old relics waiting to be revealed. Join us to find what authorities discovered in a 200-year-old canal that shocked the whole world. A guy out on a trip to Ranco Lake in Chile saw something truly harrowing. There was some bizarre, dark creature swimming in the water that left the guy scared. You can't see it properly in the clip, but the guy claimed that he saw a dinosaur-like figure swimming, but its long body slithered smoothly in the river. Many people dismissed the video, saying dinosaurs existed long ago, so it's not possible to see one now, while others entertained the idea of some unknown creature. But let me know what you think of this video down in the comments. Skull and Jawbone. Yep, those are the eye sockets. That's a human skull. That's kind of crazy. I'm gonna put it back. This group of artifact collectors were out on the hunt when they found something totally opposite and 10 times as creepy. A human skull and jawbone. That looks like a human skull. That is a human jaw. While searching, they noticed some dark object lying near the water that eerily looked like a human jawbone. And as if the jawbone wasn't enough, just a little further ahead, they found half a human skull lying in a corner, spooked by the skull. They quickly called the police to hand over their discovery. They retrieved the remains and took them for forensic testing. So pay close attention on your next trip. You never know what new discovery you'll make. Massive mystery. Is it another giant squid? Or maybe a massive river monster? This huge, pale, mysterious creature, featured in a viral video, has left the experts scratching their heads, unable to figure out what it really is. Some said it could be a globster, but scientists have dismissed this idea entirely. There's talk that it might be a decomposing whale that ended up on the shore, turning it to something unrecognizable. But there wasn't any news about a whale washed ashore. So this beach creature has become a mystery no one's been able to solve. Ancient Artifacts A group of archaeologists near the Dnipro River found a really old anchor that dated back to the 18th century and was believed to have been used in a war. This isn't the first ancient relic they found. A couple of months ago, they found another anchor from ancient times as well. The anchor they found this time was in pretty good shape and was made out of wood and metal. The explosion at the Kofka Dam made the river shallower, revealing all sorts of old stuff like boats, bits of ships, and even an entire underwater village. We discovered a Scythian era settlement at the Baida Island. No one has seen it before because it was meters under the water. People are being sneaky and trying to grab these treasures to sell them, so the authorities are keeping an eye out to stop them. Anchors seem to be the most desirable finds for treasure hunters or black archaeologists. Dinosaur Tracks Following the footprints in Texas, Marcus Moore on the dinosaurs. Drought uncovered numerous artifacts and relics from all over the world, but this discovery from Texas's Biloxi Riverbed left the internet baffled. Dinosaur Valley State Park unveiled around 100 million year old dinosaur footprints spanning over 300 yards. These are dinosaur prints that scientists say are more than 100 million years old and they go on for more than 300 yards down this riverbed. The imprints belong to a species called Sauroposidon, a 60 foot tall dinosaur weighing nearly 100,000 pounds. The drought might have been a nuisance to everyone, but the scientists got to map the imprints of the world's longest dinosaur trackways for the first time. With the risk of erosion and the possibility of future floods, the tracks needed to be preserved properly. Danube River Back in 2022, 
Europe experienced one of its worst droughts in years, which led to historically low water levels in the Danube River. And the drought has exposed dozens of German warships sunk during World War II near Serbia's river port town. These sunken vessels have long hindered river traffic during low water levels. The current drought has revealed over 20 of these warship hulks. And the interesting thing is that many of them still contain large amounts of ammunition and explosives, which could be a significant danger to shipping. But the government is working to recover these ships and the removal of hazardous materials. Whale Valley. Right in the middle of Cairo, Egypt's sandy landscapes is a very bizarre sight. Wadi al hitan also known as the Whale Valley, home to around 400 whale skeleton fossils, experts also found 60 different types of shellfish. And if the discovery of whale fossils in the middle of the desert isn't amazing enough, they also found fossils of a whale with feet, including front and hind feet, and it was dated back to around 40 million years ago. These discoveries provide a glimpse into the world of prehistoric marine life, and the site was designated as UNESCO World heritage site due to its significant fossils. Utah Reservoir. It's all right, what looks like a graveyard or of old cars out there is shown up along the shore of Hiram Reservoir. Around 200 years ago, the Hiram Reservoir in Utah transformed into a nostalgic car cemetery when decreased water levels exposed more than a dozen cars from the 1950s along the shoreline. The old frames and stuff like that are more visible right now. So but they start showing up as soon as the water starts going down. Back in the 50s, people intentionally dumped these cars to build up the shoreline. The state park manager clarified that the cars were intentionally parked there to prevent the bank from becoming unstable. If the cars were to be removed now, it might actually unsettle the bank and create problems for the residents. So they've decided to let it be. And it kind of works as a cool vintage car show. Hiram Reservoir State Park manager says they were put there around that time with a practical purpose in mind. Plastic River. Rivers are known to flow water that is used by mankind. But this river in Guatemala appeared to flow plastic junk that the locals had dumped into it. All sorts of plastic was seen flowing with the water's waves. It's like the river became the residents' very own dumping can. And here's how the coastline of Guatemala looks now. Plastic trash as far as the eye can see. And that's not it. There's another place brimming with plastic waste. This scene of countless plastic bottles flowing in the waves was captured in Durban Beach in South Africa. These bottles and other litter were seen thrown out onto the beach. It's like the beach was cleaning itself, giving humans their trash back. Booted Skeleton. It's a skeleton lying there with its boots on and that's all you can see in the first sight, there's nothing else. A team of workers were digging up London's new super sewer and they had to drain the Thames. And guess what they found while cleaning up the riverbed? A human skeleton just chilling on the bank. After some digging around, the archaeologists figured out it was from the medieval ages. And the most special thing about this discovery was that the skeleton was wearing boots and was found in a pretty weird position. Everyone was blown away by the discovery, as it gave a peek into what life was like in London 500 years back. This might have been padding for his feet, keep him warm. The shoes actually reinforced at the toe cap. As for how the poor guy ended up there, well, no one's really sure. But some folks think he might have been out working by the river and met a not so great end. Archaeologists in London have found plenty of evidence that people did work down by the Thames. Bison Skull. Two Missouri men hey, may have stumbled upon something really special. Two friends ventured out on an exploration mission to the Missouri River due to its low water levels and made an astonishing discovery. A massive fossil complete with a set of horns. Wanting to identify what they had found, they decided to ask for an archaeologist's help. And after several weeks of analysis, the bison traits this hump at the top for all the extra muscle. The archaeologist confirmed that the fossil undoubtedly belonged to an ancient bison, or perhaps an extinct species that they stumbled upon by accident. And this skull discovery wasn't an isolated event. A guy was out fishing in a river in eastern Montana when he found a bison skull just beneath the surface of the water. He got out of his boat and pulled out the skull and was surprised to find the near complete skull with horns and all. His fishing day? 
turned into a remarkable discovery. Giant Rat an image that has gone viral as crews were cleaning 22 tons of trash drainage system. They came across what is being described as a giant rat. A team of workers, while cleaning the sewer, encountered a very filthy situation. A giant rat was found resting in the drain. Its sheer size baffled the workers and left them wondering how this thing was in there. But before you question how this rat grew into this behemoth, let me tell you that it's not real. This was a Halloween decoration prop that somehow ended up in the sewer. And for everyone thinking how this extremely realistic giant toy got there, well, after heavy rates, it was washed away and was left to give these workers the shock of a lifetime. Bigfoot Footprints. I accidentally stepped in one of them by accident, but this one right here, that's the foot right there. This guy out for a stroll in the woods came across something that absolutely terrified him. Embedded in the soft mud were footprints that didn't seem to belong to any normal human being. They were assumed to be left behind by a guy wearing big shoes. But the theory seemed wrong when he noticed huge toes along with the print. So the only fitting guess was that they were Bigfoot's footprints. That might have walked around the woods. The guy decided to continue his journey and see if he could capture the giant but nothing appeared. Although the prince looked quite convincing, the truth behind the existence of Bigfoot remained a mystery. Fossils in Mexico. Que al parecer es oro. ¿Qué tipo de oro es? Aún no lo sabemos porque no... A bizarre discovery took the internet by storm when a group of guys went on an exploration venture in a cave in Mexico, decorated with paintings and unknown symbols, including a face that the specialists interpreted as a gray. The cave is known to have extraterrestrial remains. Researchers found steels and engravings that could mean that the extraterrestrial beings were there at some point. It's also a local legend that the cave used to be home to intraterrestrial beings. There have been various speculations about the origin and meaning of the things found in the cave but no one's been able to solve the mystery yet. So could there really be a connection between ancient civilizations and beings from space? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Giant Black Blob They're not toxic, they're just slimy and alien looking. During an exploration trip into the Pacific coast of the US, these guys stumbled upon something unusual that caught their eye. Right there in the water was a giant black blob. And when he took it out of the water, he found that it was a black sea hare, an extremely large species of sea slug. As you can probably tell from its size, found near the sea coast, these guys can give you a good scare with their size if you can't recognize them. It's just so amazing how big this slug is. The guys examined it for a bit and then let it go back into its habitat. Mysterious Jellyfish. A freshwater jellyfish, known as a peach blossom jellyfish, is a mystery to both visitors and wildlife experts. A very strange sight was caught in the waters of Northern California's reservoir that left wildlife experts puzzled. A large number of odd-looking freshwater jellyfish were sighted swimming in the reservoir. Why would the experts be concerned over a jellyfish, you might wonder? Well, it was identified as the peach blossom jellyfish, which is native to China, but was increasingly seen in the region in recent years. And the concerns were over the potential impacts on the ecosystem. Experts with Nature World News fear peach blossom jellyfish could compete with native species for food resources and disrupt the food web. As they feed on plankton and small fish, experts are studying their presence and potential effects on native species and are still better understanding their impact on the environment. Enormous Squid this is insane. I have finally caught the Mediterranean beef squid. This excited crowd has gathered to see a rare sea monster that somehow ended up in a small canal. But wait, how did this huge squid get there? While there's no official record of this event, I stumbled upon a video of a man pulling a massive squid out of a river. The people who found it shared the video everywhere, proud of his big catch. However, some online experts said the squid didn't really look real and that it was made of plastic. I'm not so sure. I mean, it's got the same soft body a cephalopod has, but if it's a hoax, well, that's a really good squid duplicate he's got there. Sasquatch Skull. Man claims to have found the discovery of a lifetime. Todd May was hiking near his home in Utah when he came across a fossilized head 
of a Bigfoot. These guys seem to have discovered a giant skull. Received anonymously, they claimed that the skull belonged to a Sasquatch and was authenticated by experts, and was considered a significant discovery in the search for the elusive creature. The skull was quite large as compared to humans, and has structures that didn't belong to humans. And interestingly, it exhibited radioactivity, confirmed by a Geiger counter. It is radioactive. And we can, we can tell this by using this Geiger counter. Listen to this. The discovery sparked speculation, with many saying that the skull wasn't real, while enthusiasts believed that it might be a proof. But the skull remained unidentified, and was said to belong to a known animal, which may or may not have been a Bigfoot. What is the animal? It's believed to be a Bigfoot. Fishy mystery. There's something strange swimming in the lagoon. No one knows what it is. Earlier this year in New Orleans City Park, a strange creature was caught on film, causing ripples in the calm water. The mysterious aquatic resident resembled a fish with unusual scales and a vivid red tail. Had a lot of scales, the tail was red. It sparked a frenzy of speculation among visitors, with some suggesting it might be a genetically altered creature released into the park's waters. Even a local preschool specializing in marine life couldn't identify it. Could this creature be New Orleans' version of the Loch Ness Monster? Or was it just a chance encounter? The question has remained unsettling. Ancient Fossil this guy's hunt for fossils and artifacts took a very strange turn when he stumbled upon a land filled with fossilized remains. Equipped with a massive sieve, he sifted through the dirt and found something extraordinary. Pieces of a huge jaw that fit together like puzzle pieces. He thought he had found some prehistoric animal's remains. But after a complete analysis, it turned out to be the jaw of a horse. And his discovery didn't end there. He also found deer teeth, a raccoon's jaw, and a massive mastodon tooth. His findings raised questions as to how all these animals' remains were at one place. Squid washed ashore. There we go. A couple out on a beach adventure found a giant squid washed ashore. They were shocked to see the behemoth lying on the beach and see how it was so much bigger than the guy lying beside it. They noticed its head was moving, so it was probably alive, and hopefully it was rescued. I'm taking a video. The video. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Here's another giant squid that was found washed up on a California beach. It might seem small to you, but the authorities measured it to be around 120 feet. Experts said that the squid was probably a result of nuclear radioactive gigantism meaning its abnormal size was because of toxic nuclear matter. Many people refused to believe that, saying the squid just wasn't real at all. So the true identity of this critter has remained a mystery. We've never seen a squid of this magnitude before. We thought they existed. Unalive fish. Ukraine experienced a heartbreaking sight when thousands of fish were discovered lifeless near the Kakova Water Reserve. This tragic event happened because the reservoir was drained. Officials estimated that around 28,000 fish were lost, resulting in a significant loss for the community. Residents decided not to consume the fish to avoid potential health problems. Great White Shark Visitors to Salt Pond in Massachusetts were met with an unusual sighting, a massive fin moving through the water. Upon closer inspection, it was revealed to be a great white shark calmly swimming in the pond. The mystery arose. How did a shark find its way into the pond? Well, it turns out that an unusually high tide had opened up the salt pond, allowing the shark to enter. Unfortunately, though, it became trapped there for about a week before it was rescued stranded whale. An unusual incident occurred in southwest London when a juvenile mink whale found itself in big trouble, stuck in the River Thames. 
Residents in Richmond spotted the distressed creature and called for help. We called in the Port of London Authority. A team of rescuers arrived quickly and worked tirelessly to free the stranded whale. But it wasn't easy, as it showed signs of tiredness and poor health. No one knew how it ended up in this unfortunate condition. The rescuers finally managed to move the whale to a safer spot, and the vets checked if it was healthy enough to go back to the sea or needed more help. Lost Temple a record-breaking drought unearthed something very special in Thailand. With a water level dropped at a reservoir in Lopburi province, a long-submerged Buddhist temple was exposed to the daylight. The temple had been underwater for nearly 20 years, since the nearby Pasak Chanlasit Dam was built to form a reservoir. And due to its religious importance, it became a new favorite spot for the locals to visit. The authorities are working hard to cope with the sudden water shortage. Once it rains enough, the reservoir will be filled again, and the temple will be submerged once more. Ghost Village Back in 1992, the Acerado village in Spain was submerged underwater when the Alto Lindoso Reservoir was built. But recently, a prolonged drought caused the village to resurface more than ever before, revealing long-lost history. The unveiling stirred up a wave of nostalgia among its former residents and other curious people. Locals visited the place to rejoice in the appearance of their submerged hometown. However, the structures in the village had deteriorated over the years due to being underwater, and it served as a reminder of the passage of time. Altar Pego Bridge as drought lowered the water levels in Alcácer do Sal, Portugal, an ancient bridge called River Mourinho that vanished beneath the waters of Pego do Altar Dam 20 years back made a huge comeback. The 30-meter-long, 200-year-old bridge emerged from the depths like a forgotten relic. The drought hit the reservoir hard, leaving it with just 8% of its water stash. The reappearance of the bridge was cool, but with lower water levels, it was proving to be a challenge to keep the fish alive. Other animals were facing the result of a drought as well. It's crazy how the lack of water can cause this much suffering. Face Carvings Brazil's worst drought of the century brought up some remarkable pieces of history. When the Amazon River dried down, a huge number of stone carvings appeared on its banks that were believed to be around 2,000 years old. And these weren't any simple carvings, but hand-engraved human faces. Some of them were circular, while others were rectangular, with different emotions portrayed in them. The experts believe that the carvings were made by ancient humans and could provide important insights into the region's history and heritage. Giant Salamander Hunting for a creature behind the myth of a child-killing monster, the Kappa. Now we have Jeremy Wade, a renowned freshwater detective and biologist in action. Out on his hunt for a freshwater Japanese mystery, Hanzaki, the giant salamander, he managed to find just that chilling in the water. As he caught it with his bare hands, the huge amphibian got aggressive and thrashed around to get free. But Jeremy wanted to have a closer look at the creature. He measured it to be around one and a half feet long, then tagged it for research purposes and let it go back into the shallows. But it didn't go away before one one last attempt to attack him. And when I try to release it, this national treasure still makes one last attempt to bite me. Mass Graveyard During renovations at St. John's College, Cambridge University, an unexpected discovery was made beneath the old school. What was initially believed to be a small cemetery turned out to be a medieval-era mass burial ground. Archaeologists were astounded to find approximately 1,300 burials, including 400 complete skeletons. According to the mystery, some skeletons were found in pre-dug graves, like the skeletons became displaced within the graves. The absence of coffins or shrouds in most burials suggested that this cemetery was used to serve the less privileged members of society. Dating back to the 13th to 15th centuries, this discovery was declared as one of the UK's significant archaeological finds by the university's archaeology department. Mysterious Kingdom 
Archaeologists working in southwest China unveiled a discovery of a lifetime, an ancient treasure trove that belonged to a mysterious kingdom. Paper-thin bronzeware and sculptures were just a few of the 13,000 artifacts found on the site that dated back to around 3,000 years ago, and the site was said to be home to the previously unknown Shu Dynasty. The discovery provided information about the ancient history and origin of Chinese culture. Shark Tooth a group of friends was out exploring the 40 million year old ocean floor when they discovered a triangular shaped object with one sharp edge. They couldn't believe their eyes as to what they had found. It was a shark tooth fossil. Keeping the tooth aside, they continued their search for more amazing discoveries. Here, another group of explorers who seemed to have made a similar discovery. When they washed it up, they found that it was a giant shark tooth, probably a megalodon's tooth, a shark species that's believed to have gone extinct millions of years ago. But its teeth often remain and turn up during searches. Green algae. A couple years back, the state of Florida found itself in big trouble when a state of emergency was declared in seven counties due to toxic algae blooms caused by water discharges from Lake Okeechobee. This blue-green algae bloomed in rivers and posed severe health risks, causing respiratory issues, nausea, vomiting, and potential liver damage in animals that drank from the affected water. Hopefully the government dealt with the issue firsthand and helped people in a miserable situation. Five million year old tree. Now have a look at this petrified tree stump that netizens also call the Devil's Tower due to its resemblance to the Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Estimated to be around five million years old, the stump belongs to a giant sequoia tree. It's amazing to see how this tree stump has survived all these years, giving people proof of ancient times. Snake infestation. <laughs> If you're snake phobic, I'd suggest you brace yourself for this one. A huge bunch of snakes were found in a dried up well in Uttar Pradesh in India. The residents felt threatened by those slithery serpents and called a snake rescuer to remove them. The guy filled up the well with water and a whole lot of them appeared. It was like they were camouflaged with the dirt. They slithered and turned, not ready to leave their home. A huge crowd gathered to see the men in action who bravely took each one of them out of the well and released them somewhere safe. Croc feeding. I guess this guy gets the award for the most dangerous job. Feeding a pool full of hungry crocodiles is no easy feat. One wrong move and the feeder can become the feed. But the man seemed to know what his job entailed and expertly moved and threw the feed away into the pool. And as soon as it hit the water, oh, those crocs went frantic, wanting to have their first bites. Foamy Salt Lake. You might have seen sea foam before, which makes the ocean water all frothy and whippy. But this isn't the scene from an ocean or a beach. This clip was captured from the Great Salt Lake in Utah. The wind blew the cotton-like globs of foam that were formed by strong lapping waves filled with algae and other organic matter. All this foam will dissolve back into the water once the water has settled. Now it's time for today's open discussion. This picture of a giant squid surrounded by a bunch of onlookers was captured back in 2015 when something extraordinary happened in Toyama Bay, Japan. A giant squid that usually lurks deep in the ocean was spotted swimming right there in the bay. People were amazed seeing the elusive giant up close as it's super rare for them to come up. Whoa! At first, folks thought it might be sick or hurt, but to everyone's surprise, it seemed perfectly fine and full of life. So how did it end up there? Well, this incredible squid, about 12 feet long, probably just took a wrong turn, lost its way, and ended up in the bay. Luckily, rescuers arrived in time, and it was gently guided back to the open ocean, where it disappeared into the depths once again. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.